Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Rabbit Punch. Uh, this was created by V System, which was later known as Video System, in 1987. And in the U.S., it was licensed to Bally Midway and Sente. Uh, this was originally known as Rabiolepus, but in the U.S., it was known as Rabbit Punch. I don't remember if I've seen this. I might have seen it once at an Oceanside. Uh, Oregon Arcade, but uh, it contains two characters that made appearances in uh, the Arrow, Fire, uh, Arrow Fighters series of games, and there they are, Rabio and Lepus, and Rabio is player number one, and Lepus is player number two in Rabbit Punch, and as you might have surmised, you can play one or two player simultaneous play. And uh, these are robot rabbits, and they can shoot at the enemies. They can uh, they can punch close enemies, and uh, you use the same uh, fire button when you are close to the enemies as you would uh, with shooting at them. And uh, you can touch the ground, and you'll walk on it. You can't get killed running into the ceiling or the uh, floor, which is nice. And uh, there will be these canisters that have uh, carrot symbols on them. And when you destroy those canisters with enough shots, or you can just punch them when you're close to them, you can't die from touching them. Um, you will be able to uh, collect certain things from them. There will often be... <laughs> there will often be missiles that you can get from those uh, carrot canisters. And those missiles will be a uh, secondary weapon. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> this game's cute. It's okay. You can choose between normal course or expert course. And playing the expert course will give you, uh, uh, like, I think, double points or an extra bonus on, upon the completion of a level. Uh, if you play the game all the way through on uh, the easy course, then you will be uh, then you will have to play through again on the expert course. You only have two lives in this game, which is weird. Um, not three, as is the normal. There will also be little milk bottles. You collect those just for bonus points. But uh, there will be various enemies. You have a life bar that is only three little ticks, and each time you get hit by most enemy attacks, you will lose one little tick of that life bar. And notice that there are two life bars, that's because you have two lives. Um, some uh, enemy lasers, big lasers or big shots, can take out your whole life with one hit, and I think those missiles that uh, could do that. But there will be a boss fight at the end of each stage. There are 12 stages in this game. Big, uh, big game, but fortunately the levels aren't normally terribly long. You can uh, collect a uh, homing missile icon from those, uh, from those uh, carrot canisters. And uh, once you get the homing uh, missile icon, I think uh, you can collect a, uh, you can get a uh, ribbon on your hair. And uh, if you get hit by the enemies, you can lose that ribbon, and it'll it'll start floating in the air and floating back behind you, and you can go back and recollect it. Uh, if you beat the game and you have the ribbon on your head, you will get a bonus. A very nice bonus. You can also get a very nice bonus if you uh, did not lose a life throughout the game, which is pretty much impossible. <laughs> there is uh, another icon that you can collect. There, I got the ribbon. You see, it's in my hair. Um, there is another item you can collect, and it is like a... I forget if it's a bear or a raccoon or something, and that can give you limited invincibility. It's, oh god, I hate that stupid thing! You instantly die from touching those, uh, 
that uh, bomb explosion. Very annoying. But I like that you can walk on the ground in this game. There's some enemies in this game that just annoy the hell out of me. That bomb really annoys me. Destroy enemy master. I like the uh, the voice telling you to destroy the boss. It's like, gee, I wasn't planning on destroying him. <laughs> yeah, and at the edge, end of each uh, boss defeated, carrots, bonus carrots, will fall from the sky. And uh, as soon as one touches the ground, this the uh, bonus uh, sequence is over. Ah, damn it. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies in this game that really annoy the hell out of me. Oh, that's helpful. I can't reach that stupid uh, missile there. This game's kind of cute. It definitely has a, a an aesthetic appeal. Oops. <laughs> Very family-friendly uh, appeal to it. Cute little bunny rabbits. Uh, robot rabbits. I chose to uh, continue here. You gotta keep your score if you continue, which is nice. Those uh, things, they cannot be destroyed by your shots. They can be destroyed by missiles. Or by the, uh... There it is. Yeah. There will also be uh, giant carrot icons sometimes, and those will, uh... Those will t completely refill your, uh... Life bar. Have to, uh, destroy the, uh... Edges of these laser fields. Enemy the uh, voice will tell you when you're uh, uh, when you're almost at almost or I think completely out of missiles. Definitely use them on this boss. You can make a boss battle much quicker. And there's the falling carrots again. Really, I didn't do this, but. Uh, a good strategy for that part is to just do a back and forth sweep at the top of the screen. It'll eventually end. And sometimes there will be a level where you just face a boss. And that's it. And there I used up almost all my missiles, but it was worth it. And now we have more carrots falling. After you complete uh, stage 8, you will get a little... Uh, cutscene of a princess or, or you trying to rescue a princess but uh, it ends up that uh, the princess was abducted and taken somewhere else this game's all right like I said uh, both Rabio player number one the, the red rabbit and Lepus player number two the green rabbit make appearances in the uh, Arrow Fighters series of games. God, I hate that pawn. You can get uh, an extra life at various uh, point totals in the game. I'm, I can't remember exactly which ones, but I'm pretty sure 500,000 was one of them. Ah, yeah, crap. I've, I've never been great at... Ah, oh, God damn it, I hate that pawn. I've never been great at uh, at shooters, but I've gotten considerably better over the years at them. You just have to be patient. You have to not not panic. It's easy to panic in uh, shoot 'em ups. <laughs> um, there is a character in uh, Arrow Fighters named Mao Mao, and she's a, a pop star singing gal with her own uh, attack plane and she has an ending where she has uh, Rabio and Lepus as uh, either pets or uh, dolls and we'll, we'll just take a look at a screenshot of her ending this boss isn't so hard just sweep up and down weave in between the shots and don't get hit by his lasers And just keep shooting non-stop. Oh, that was clumsy. Yeah. I It says empty in the bottom left under my life bar. That means I'm out of missiles. Collect some more carrots. 
Oh, and I got an extra life. See, I passed 500,000. Yeah, this has 12 levels. That's just... That's obnoxiously long. But uh, most of the stages don't... aren't super long. Yeah, you can go in the water here. You can even go in uh, lava on one of the levels and you won't die. You won't even get hurt. Yeah, again, uh, the original game is called uh, Raviolipus, and the U.S. version is called uh, Rabbit Punch. Yeah, you do not die if you touch one of the uh, carrot canisters, uh, but uh, you will not. Uh, you will just knock it off the screen. You will not be able to get its contents. But again, if you get the uh, Oops. If you get the uh, homing missile icon from the uh, carrot canisters, see I just knocked it out of the way, then uh, uh, you will get a ribbon in your hair. And uh, that ribbon will will grant you the power of homing missiles. And the enemies can knock it off your head, and then you'll have to go back and pick it up. You don't have to, but you won't be able to shoot uh, homing missiles. And I... Ah, oh crap, I did not want him to get close, and he did. I think I chose to not continue here. I just decided to uh, let the time run out. But I will show you clips of the rest of the stages. And again, once you play through all 12 stages, then um, you will start the game over on expert mode, and you will play through it again, and you'll get a different ending the second time. But that was Rabbit Punch, created by V System, and later on they became known as Video System. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna scoot forward to uh, me beating this guy, and we'll see snippets of the remainder of the levels. This game's playable for sure. Uh, v System might have been, might have first been known as video system with uh, the first Arrow Fighters game. I don't know that for sure. But, uh, I put on invincibility at this point. I just wanted to zip through the levels quicker. Those, uh, yellow orbs cannot be destroyed by your missiles. They can only be destroyed if you pick up that bear or raccoon or whatever it was, uh, limited invincibility icon. The diamonds can be destroyed by your missiles. And now this boss on uh, stage 7 is some sort of a Hindi mystic type of guy. Shoots a lot of firepower at ya. Screw you buddy, I've got invincibility. <laughs> Yeah, just sweep left and right at the top. That's probably your best bet to try to collect as many carrots as you can. One will eventually fall and break and end the uh, bonus sequence. And now this is uh, another only boss battle for the whole level. Screw you, I'm just gonna kill you. I don't care about getting hit. Yeah, I played this through uh, Mame and I put on an invincibility cheat just for, you know, just after my uh, initial game was over and I decided not to continue. Now, you see this old guy and he tells you, uh, thank you. Thank, thank you. <laughs> and then he so, says, but princess, our princess is in another castle. <laughs> and now you go down to, I don't know if this is supposed to be planet Earth, it's some planet. And uh, this is uh, stage 9. Ah, uh, see there I got my uh, ribbon knocked off my head. But I, I think I put on a uh, code that gives me infinite uh, missiles and it ended up putting my uh, ribbon back on my head. Yeah, the small carrots that you can get from the uh, carrot canisters just refill one bar of life. I mean, uh, give you one bar back on your life bar. 
went digit. And you face this dragon here as the boss of stage 9. More falling carrots. Oh, I didn't do very well there at all, did I? Stage 10. Yeah, it's kind of stupid that uh, you uh, um, you only get two lives as opposed to the usual three in, in uh, shooters. But uh, yeah, video system ended up uh, creating the Arrow Fighters series, and. Uh, the second and third games in that series, and here's an elephant boss. Second and third games of that series were created for the Neo Geo arcade cabinet. And I own uh, I own an, a Neo Geo cabinet and the, the third game, Arrow Fighters 3, I believe. Day 11. And uh, on this stage, we will face multiple bosses from earlier. In fact, all of them up to the ghost, I think. Screw you, I'm invincible. You can punch the bosses, and if you can get close enough, you know, and not get blown away, you can punch the boss and cause a lot more damage than your uh, laser fire. We'll just scoot forward to be beating the last boss of this sequence the ghost and when you destroy him he kind of looks like a one of those uh, troll uh, well. troll uh, uh, pictures or memes that are often seen on the internet today and here's the final boss you just need to shoot him enough and then uh, he'll disappear and the wall behind him will open up and there will be the true final boss. And there we're gonna see him. And you need to sweep up and down while firing. Avoid his shots and avoid that fireball that's that's coming after you. Yeah. But uh, he will eventually send those uh, diamond things that we saw earlier that will, and these will shoot at you. Jeez, that sucks. Just die already. There we go. And this is the first ending of uh, Rabbit Punch. We don't get falling carrots this time. Mission complete. Or completed. Arigato, bunny -san. And since I had the ribbon on my head, I get a million point bonus. And again, if you uh, didn't lose any lives through one uh, playthrough, you will get a two million bonus. And peace return to Bunnyland. Yeah, good luck on not losing any lives. This is the story of the Red Rabbits of Bunnyland. But yeah, uh, play uh, Arrow Fighters. At least Arrow Fighters 2 and 3, I think, had uh, Rabio and Lepus as uh, uh, making some sort of appearance. I think one of the games you could, you could put in like a code and you could play as them. That is Rabio Lepus. Well, originally known as Rabio Lepus, but in the America. It was called Rabbit Punch, created by v, v System, later known as Video System, or as they'd say on uh, the Neo Geo, Video System, <laughs> and uh, licensed to Bally Midway and Sente in the U.S. But yeah, we will play the expert Eight, version in which you, if you played at least the beginning. In the beginning, uh, if you chose the expert mode, you would get uh, an extra bonus. A very lucrative extra bonus. 
but uh, in the expert mode, the enemies are more aggressive, there's tougher enemies early on, and they shoot more. And I'm going to fast forward to me completing it the second time around, the, or the expert mode. Mission completed. Oh, well, Usagi-san. Usagi means rabbit in uh, Japan. No miss. Special bonus. One million points times two. And you get a little bit of a different ending. You will see uh, pictures of the enemies and the bosses. <laughs> One of the enemies was called Santana. Carlos Santana? <laughs> What's he doing in this game? <laughs> But uh, that was uh, Rabbit Punch, originally known as Rabiolipus by Video System, or V-System, back then, and licensed to uh, Bally Midway and Sente in the U.S. in 1987. And again, Rabio and Lepus would make an appearance in the Arrow Fighter series. And in a little bit, we'll look at a uh, still of Mao Mao's ending from uh, one of the Arrow Fighters games in which she's got a uh, uh, Rabio doll or a uh, or a pet Rabio and we'll uh, look at that right here <laughs> yeah <laughs> there she's she's sleeping with uh, player one Rabio the red rabbit <laughs> but that was uh, Rabbit Punch by uh, V System and licensed to Bally Midway and Sente in 1987. Well, this is Crazy Clown Racing. Thanks for watching Rabbit Punch, also known as Rabiolepus. I will uh, catch you later in the near future with another video. Y'all have a good one, everybody, and stay warm. See you later. Bye bye.